All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and as the title suggests, we've got an unboxing of a Timex watch here. Really excited about this one. You know, I went over to the Timex website because so much is going on with Timex, it seems like all the time, with their new mechanical releases, their new automatic releases, and their new solar releases. And guys, I have so many mechanical and automatic watches that I've really kind of gotten into this niche of falling in love with solar watches. So that's what I've got here in the box. I think this is going to put me up to like seven or eight solar watches in my collection so oh well i like them they're kind of like the set it forget it type of thing i'm in sunny california which makes it very very easy to charge the watch now i gotta be careful here because i think i have some invoicing material down inside the box i don't want to give away addresses or anything like that so cool boxing never seen this boxing i did buy this directly from Timex. So I didn't go through a third party. I went to Timex online and actually picked this watch up. So very nice. I, I probably didn't save as much money as I could buying it that way, but let's go ahead and get this out of the way and show you guys the reference number on this one. Let me get this to focus here. Okay, there we go. Watch Movement Japan, Strap China, Bracelet China, Assembly. So these things are kind of from all over the place. They really make these. This is in the Expedition lineup. I've had a number of Expeditions here on the channel. And I'm going to assume this is probably our part number here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing open here. And we have the Expedition North Series. Now, there's a number of different colorways in this Expedition North Series. And I thought this was just a really cool watch. The Expedition uh, Series from Timex has been one of those watches that's really kind of a go-to watch for most guys. Especially with the price points you can get them at, usually at Target or Walmart for, gosh, around 30 40 bucks. Now, this is their new solar model here. And these do cost you a little bit more. Now, let's go ahead and check out what it says here. Solar Powered. Uh, energy, solar recharge, sapphire crystal. Wow, this has a sapphire crystal in it. Okay, so I did not know that. Eco-friendly strap. I think this is made out of recycled material. Water resistant. I do believe it's to 100 meters on this watch. So let's go ahead and pull it out of here. Now, I do notice that the watch is not running. Okay, I think I need to pull maybe this whole box out of here. Let's see if I can do this without knocking my camera onto the floor. So, you know... They've done a really good job of putting this watch in here and me not being able to get it out of the box. So I'm going to pause it for a second and figure out how to get this watch out of this box. It's in here really good, almost like display style, so I need to figure that out, and then we'll get it back on camera. All right, so I was just being wimpy, and I didn't want to pull too hard. You just pull really hard, and you actually get this thing out of here, and then you can basically open it to the side here, pull your watch off of here. So one of the first things I'm going to tell you right off the bat with this watch, and I think it's probably because this construction is most likely stainless steel on this. This feels a lot heavier than any Timex Expedition I have actually ever looked at here on the channel. It's got a lot of heft to it, a lot of weight to it. Um, nice strap here. This is definitely a NATO style strap. I'm gonna have to check this one out, figure it out. Uh, pretty standard here. I think they just had it. They actually had it the right way. I think that's actually the way you're really supposed to wear a NATO strap. A lot of people will tell me that. Or I've seen that on a lot of channels that you're supposed to wear it and you're supposed to put your, your wrist through that loop there. And that actually makes it wear better. So we'll check that out as we get a little bit more into the watch. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my caliper here real quick. We'll get some specs out of the way. One of the things I do notice is the watch is not running and the crown is in. So I do think that possibly this watch is due for a charge. So I'm obviously not going to be able to do a full review of the watch. It does have a screw down crown. Check that out. Never seen that on an Expedition series before. So very nice. We'll go ahead and get the hands at that 1010 position. So we can check that out. The watch, again, like I said, it's not running. I think it's a solar watch that's been sitting in a box. It probably needs to be set in a windowsill for a full charge. But I'm going to grab my caliper really quick, and let's talk about the size, the specifications on the watch, lug to lug, um, case side to case side, of course, the thickness of the watch. And we'll kind of just take a little bit closer look at it. And then eventually what I'll do is get this watch on the wrist for a full review. Within the next few weeks, I know I still owe you guys a DII, a, a watch review on the DIY watch that I put together. I still owe a full review of that one, but let me go ahead and grab the caliper and let's talk sizing on this one. All right, guys, so I did go ahead and take some measurements on this this watch and I took a look at the case back. I'll show you that here in a minute and already some really impressive things going on with this one. First of all, like I said, the heft. I feel the weight of the watch 
confirmed on the back, I'll show you that. It does stay stainless steel. Um, you'll see the hand is pulsing around here a little bit, trying to work. That's because I stuck it up to my studio light, and you guys can see it actually moved all the way around there. So the watch is definitely in need of a charge. It'll find time by my windowsill tomorrow and get fully charged up. But you got a case from side to side of 40 millimeters, lug to lug 49 Thickness on this is 12.5 from the case back to the top of the flat sapphire crystal. On a Timex, it has a flat sapphire crystal, 20 millimeter lug openings. This watch from the Timex website, I paid right around $150 for it. So it's not a cheap watch, but figuring that you're going to get a regular Timex Expedition with a mineral crystal, a regular quartz movement, basically a base metal case, not a full stainless steel case, and a regular quartz movement, low torque quartz movement you know, that's not really going to last you that long, probably three years. Great watch, but those are going to cost you about 40 bucks, 50 bucks at Walmart Target. For three times the cost of that, you can get this. They're newer uh, solar-powered expeditions with a full stainless steel case. These recycled plastic straps on it, which are really super nice. I love this gunmetal gray color that I actually picked out. I, it was funny, for some reason I couldn't remember, and I always... I don't usually go back and check. I just like, I'm going to be surprised at what I ordered, but I thought I ordered a PVD case, but I love this gunmetal gray. These silly stickers here on the back, I'm sure are part of what needs to be on there about where everything came from, straps from China, movement is Japan. I think that's what it says, but you guys can see these, the case back, really nice looking case back, screw down case back on this. I'm sure with like this, with any other solar module watch, you should not be opening that up probably get sent back to Timex for any kind of refurbishing of the solar movement. But guys, really, really nice looking piece. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and I will throw it on my seven inch wrist here. Guys, give me just a second to get this watch on my seven inch wrist. And then um, I'm not going to go out with a loom shot. I'll save that for the full review of the watch once we get this thing running and going. But really cool looking watch. Let's throw it on my wrist. Okay, love the green dial, love this gunmetal case. Definitely need to get that movement charged so it stops getting that little funky little pulse there. But a beautiful looking field watch from Timex, around $150 for this piece. Sapphire crystal, solar quartz movement. Really, really nice full stainless steel case in a 40 millimeter design. What more could you ask for in a field watch? More to come on this one, guys. I'll do a full follow-up review, which I will include a loom shot because it looks like these hands have a lot of aluminum. And you'll get to see the hand actually moving <laughs> instead of that just little twitch it does every once in a while. But all right, guys, thanks for joining me for the unboxing of the Timex Expedition Solar Powered Quartz, the Expedition North Timex, I should say. Really cool piece. So guys like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.